everyone this is ram from sgs sanic academy visakhapatnam so 117 days target our target number is 14 so today our topic and different topic is you can find the r without the value of p what is r and what is p so if you look at the sum then you will understand what is the R and what is the P. So what is the relation between R and P? Okay. Okay, my dear students here, I want to say that. So you have to listen the classes very carefully, not this class. And uh, who are uh, belong to SJS uh, Sinic Academy and uh, on, especially online class students. So you have to follow the regularly which we are uh, um, sending the classes in our app we have the SGS Scenic Academy app and uh, if anybody can download that app and call to this, uh, these numbers uh, here so then uh, the access will be given by the staff so you have to watch the video classes regularly we are sending the four classes every day and also two exams two for, uh, for two classes one exam and the two classes one exam you have to regularly do uh, follow those classes and write the everyday test daily test and then these questions will be useful right and these all questions 117 days target questions are a different way and different uh, path to get the success why because in the final examination the twists will be there so many twists are there so so many you have to um, uh, use your brain very quickly very smart very short time within the short time so that's why here i'm i want to tell the secrets of the success uh, that's why here the targets are there for you right so today target number 14 so right without the value of r you can find out the p r means your rate of interest p means principle right here see the question if you uh, read the question properly you understand what is the r what is the p how can we find out the the value of r if a certain sum of mon money can be five times of the its principle in 10 years we have only time 10 years then what is the rate of interest yes rate of interest formula what is the rate of interest formula si into 100 by p into t t means time we have the time 10 years but we don't know the si we don't know the principle how can we find the value of r if you know the principle you can easily find out the si but here you don't know the principle how can you find out the si and then how can you find out the r okay so that is the main situation here so in the examination you will think like this without knowing principle without knowing si how can i find out the r i know the formula we know the formula of rate of interest r is equals to si into 100 by p into t but we we only know the t they gave only time that means 10 years how can we find out the remaining that means here the question let principle is equals to p let principle is equals to p then it can become five times they gave the clue five times that means amount amount is equals to, amount is equals to five times of the principal that means five into p that means that means a five p amount is five p principal is p that means a si si is equals to amount minus principal that means amount means five p principal means p that means four p that means here we have a si and we have principal easily we can apply these values in this formula that means r is equal to si means uh, 4p 100 means 100 only p principal means p only okay and time means 10 see here p p cancel 10 ones are 10 tens are okay 4 into 10 40 rate of interest rate of interest means 40 percent see here where is the option yes in the option c 40 percent is there option c is the correct answer see my dear students we don't know the value of the principal we don't know the value of si only we know the relation between the principal and amount let the imagine that principal is p then the amount is five times of the principal that's why 5p 
we know the uh, phi p we have the principal and now the si si is equals to amount minus principal amount is phi p principal is p only so phi p minus p 4p that means this is a simple interest this is simple interest. we know that the rate of interest formula si into 100 by p into t si means 4p into 100 and here so p means p only into 100 okay p p cancel p p cancel that means here so 4 into 10 40 percent is the here rate of interest got my point so like this if you do the sum it is very easy it is very easy first of all you have to carefully read the question then it will be going to be very easy okay my dear students all the best everyone take care and bye bye